이런 건데 아까 말한 거봐 thousands of expedition killings, hundreds of disappearances, and it is about time that justice be served to these victims. Uh, because uh, if we let this um, uh, without any action, then it delivers the message that what they did is all right, and it will deliver the message that they can do this again and again with impunity. So um, this case, uh, while there are only six uh, of the original uh, 43, is but one of many cases that we will be filed. We will be filing in the next few weeks criminal cases for violation of the counter torture law, as well as the violation of the Republic Act 748 in the rights of the resident and detained persons. And um, uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, prominent cases will also be filed, like the case of uh, Jonas Burgos, the case of Catapan Impeño, the case of uh, Raymond Manano. Actually, the damages, um, the, the horrific experience of our clients cannot, of course, be uh, capable of what we call pecuniary estimation. Uh, there is no amount that will be able to assuage the pain and the horror that they went through. But for purposes of compensation, uh, we peg the amount uh, uh, as a as mentioned in the complaint, and that is um, with due consideration, of course, to the filing fees that is required. As a matter of fact, we find this case uh, on the basis of there being indigent uh, litigants, so we have a motion that uh, uh, some of them, if not all, will be allowed to uh, pursue the case as uh, indigent uh, litigants. So, itong 15 million pesos po na ito, it's only for six. So, kapag meron pa bang ibang magsasampa, dadagdagan pa itong amount na ito? Certainly, because uh, we expect that uh, some of the detainees uh, will also follow suit, whether in this case or in another case uh, where they are located. And if it's in this case, then we will just amend the complaint to include the other venues. Uh, uh, bakit na ang uh, civil case ng criminal? Ay, 
po ito yung civil damages para po? Uh, the decision went through. In our legal evaluation and consultation with our clients, we believe that a civil case uh, should be the first case uh, so that uh, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and other top military and police officials can be held responsible. The limitation of a criminal case is that there is personal liability. So if you file a criminal case, then that you won't go up uh, uh, to, the, to the president. So the civil case uh, gave us an opportunity to to hold responsible President uh, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, the former AFP Chief of Staff, the former R uh, RB Chief, and the former heads of the, the divisions and the brigades and the battalions that were responsible for their arrest and detention, as well as torture. So the, the, the decision to file a civil case uh, is not to downplay no, the criminal aspect of the case. Um, we just have to do it one by one, step by step. But at the same time, uh, they are not uh, close to the possibility of uh, implicating even more because we have to identify the other perpetrators that were responsible for the torture and detention. Um, Pardon me? Yes. Um, um, the complaint was a product of a studied analysis. No? Uh, because uh, it's a um, legitimate question why uh, we are uh, uh, including the former president. Our theory, in fact, our position is that all the extrajudicial killings, all the disappearances, all the illegal arrests, all the torture during the nine years of the former president were part of a framework of a counterinsurgency called uh, Oplan Bantaylaya. So uh, uh, by virtue of the fact that she either knew or acquiesce, or tolerated, or even induce, or even gave orders under that counterinsurgency program. That is the basis why uh, uh, we, we think that One is um, uh, precisely because she didn't do anything about it. Two is that uh, there were violations of certain constitutional rights. And three, because there were uh, uh, torture that were inflicted on in our clients. So there are three bases uh, for the civil suit for damages. So to, 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 in other words, uh, the buck stops with her. Uh, nothing has happened with respect to human rights violations without either her knowledge, consent, acquiescence, tolerance, inducement, or even order. Thank you. Right Other questions? Great. Uh, which I've been talking about. First, 